Hello garden friends. It's been a while since my last video so I'm happy to be back and be making a round arrangement using it's cotty leaden I believe and it's variegated bear paw and I have two clusters of these right here. I'll also be using Sedum Aurora and this is a cluster of three. Look how beautiful the color is. Oh. Also Echeveria Colorada. The pink tips. Very beautiful. One of my favorites, Echeverias. And this is a Echeveria Atlantis. I just love dense um, rosettes like these. And as fillers, I'll be using small sempervivums. So let's see how see let's see how this turns out. I mean, so I'm going to start with my variegated bear paw, and I want to put these clusters off center to this side, this corner here. And like I said, I have two clusters, but I have to be very, very careful because they are very fragile plants. So I'm just going to press the soil so they can stay put. And I'm going to put another cluster maybe right here. Right in front of it. Oh no. Just going to kind of anchor the other one by making it lean into this bigger cluster here. It's a little stronger. This cluster in the back is probably a bit younger. Okay. Yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna put, hmm, probably put my sedum here, right behind. I'm gonna be very careful. I want to keep it into a keep it in, in a cluster. So I'm gonna try not to take it apart. And these, if if a leaf pops out, don't worry. See, for example, if you lose a sedum leaf, what I'll do is just place it in soil somewhere, and that leaf will sprout a new baby plant. So these sedums are very easy to propagate. These, not so much. So if you lose a leaf, it's very hard to propagate a baby plant from the leaf. But it does make plenty of pups, the mother plant. All right, so I got that sedum in right there. I'm gonna add my Atlantis right over here, right in the front. Okay, let's see if we're gonna put this in. Okay. Pop that leaf off. Leaf off. Okay. Put my Colorado right over here. Okay, so far so good. And now I'm gonna start filling in my holes with the Semper Vibum. So I have a hole here. So I'm gonna put this cluster of two heads right in there. Semper vivums are nice to, to use as filler plants because they tend to um, um, create many, many, many pups. That's why they're called hens and chicks. So they create a cluster of plants. So eventually it'll just fill in. 
have another hole right in the back over here, so I'm going to place another one in there. I'm going to place another one here. space here where I can put more. There we go. And I have one more small one. And I think I'll place it right by the sedum. Right there. So my planting is done and what I'll do next is I'm gonna add some stones to it. That is totally optional. You don't have to do it. I just like the way the stones look in these type of succulent arrangements. So the dirt, I'll just cover it with the stones. You know, that's the main reason why I do the stones. I don't like to see the dirt. So I just like to cover it with the, with the rocks. It makes it look, I think it makes it look pretty. Gives it more of a complete look. And I won't water this arrangement for about a week. So in a week, I'll water it. I like the plants to settle in on their own get used to their new environment. And I'm almost done here with the stones. more holes to fill in. This is like the tedious part for me, adding the stones. The planting is a lot easier, but getting into those little nooks and crevices and fitting in stones is a lot harder for me. <laughs> gonna dust off some of the dirt and unfortunately my variegated bear paw got a little dirty and it's hard to get these clean even with a brush because they're already kind of fuzzy plants so you know the dirt just kind of sticks to them yeah it's what you have to deal with when you have the fuzzy plants they get a kind they get they get a little dirty Wow, and this arrangement is done and it looks really nice. So as a filler plant, I use both the variegated bear paw and Semper Vivums to add some height and color. I added the Sedum Aurora. I also have as a thriller an Atlantis Echeveria. And this is another Echeveria Colorada. Look how that came out. Pretty nice. Well, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye garden friends.